All right, well, next up, I'm installing this fancy Honeywell timer. Um, hopefully this works out okay. It's rated for uh, incandescent bulbs only. It says not to use with LEDs, uh, but it says that because it has a minimum 40 watt rate. Um, and I'm gonna have a lot of LEDs on it, so I'll be over the 40 watts, so I should be good. Um, but anyway, the purpose of installing this timer is so that um, I can have the lights turn on at sunset and turn off whenever I want to uh, automatically. So when we're gone in Singapore, the lights will continue to turn on like we turn them on now. And I'll be running these for, uh, we, we don't move for four months, or four months, yeah. So um, we'll be establishing that pattern here now. And uh, yeah, that'll be, it'll be nice just to have that going on. So let's, hopefully this isn't too hard to do. I've got a three-way switch that I gotta install this on. Um, so let's get to it. And here is the unit. Um, you can see on the back, we have four lines coming out because uh, this is a three-way. So we've got load going in, line, or sorry, line coming in, load going out to the lights, ground, and then the three-way would go to the other switch. Um, so we got that. We have wiring instructions here for an existing three-way installation, which is what we're doing. And then, yeah, here we go. Got the, I've got the power off now, and I just need to pull off this faceplate so I can get at the switches. Okay, so I pulled the face off. I need to get this light switch off. Um, I am apparently an idiot because there are these fancy little uh, releases here. Push here to release. Um, and you got the wire in here. You can see I cut the wire off um, because for whatever reason, I stuck my screwdriver in there and pushed hard. I could not get these to release. I looked up YouTube videos. Apparently these release super easy in all the videos I saw. Push down, pull up. Um, well, if they're child proof, I must be a child because I could not get it. But anyway, this is out. I have my wires free. Now I am going to put in the new switch. This is rather comical, so I thought I'd show you what I did. I'm sure there's a ton of better ways to do this. Um, I needed to figure out which uh, lines here coming out of my box were the line and which were the load, which was the three-way. And so what I did was I took this, I, I, I connected um, some alligator clips up to each line and I ran it on down, connected it up to an extension cord, ran my extension cord through the house as such, and then came over here with my multimeter and looked at the other box and started uh, figuring out which, which lines did I have continuity on, which ones didn't I, and used that to determine which ones, which lines were run into the other box and such. So I could, I could just stick my terminal into here and then on one, one side of the multimeter and then the other over here. And then essentially I was able to find out are they connected or not. Um, and so based on that, I figured out what needed to be connected where. And that is how we got things hooked back up here. So now it's all wired up. I'm going to see if I, when I turn the power on, if this thing lights up and works. Crossing my fingers. I flip the breaker and we have light. It works. Awesome. Um, and my light is currently off. I'm gonna hit the button if I can. And it's on! Success! Yay! And there it is, the final product in all of its glory. Currently off. On. Nice. It's working. Fantastic. A job well done.